Oh yeah, baby, it's morning time. Welcome to the celebration, morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford, and we're here once again to give God our glory, honor, and praise, for this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. It is morning time, baby. Let's get into this word, man. Let's get into this word and see what the word say. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Let's get into this word, man. It's morning time. It is morning time. Y'all see it? Okay. Thank you for hitting that share button. Good morning to you, Sister LaShawn. Sister Lucy, Sister Alice, Sister Rossi. Good morning to you. Praise this kitchen. Good morning to you. Let's go. Okay. We gone. We out. We out of here. Let's go. We out. Okay. Thank y'all for hitting that share button, man. Help get this word out to as many people as possible. This is Natasha, good morning to you. Diddy, good morning to you, baby. Oh, yeah, it's morning time. Y'all see it, it's in the word. It's in the word, man. I ain't made it up. It's morning time. Listen, man, it's morning time. Welcome to the celebration. Morning motivation. I am Deacon Ford, and we are the morning motivational family. From me to you, man, I'm grateful that you are here this morning. Good morning to you, Deacon uh, Deacon Diggins. Man, listen, good morning to you, Brother Terrence. Y'all still logging on. Good morning to your Sister Sarah. Good morning to each and every single one of y'all. Listen, good morning to you over there on YouTube. Shout out to Missionary Jackson. Good morning to you over there on Instagram, man. Shout out to my brother, uh, Sir Amazing, John Rush. You know I love you, cause listen, man, for all of those who are watching on the different platforms, Mother Robinson, Sister Cheyenne, Deacon Mayfield, man, listen, all of y'all, man, we are the morning motivational family, and we are here this morning to celebrate the breath of life. Come on, man, to celebrate the breath of life. That's, I know, listen, I know I'm here with y'all. I'm right here with y'all. I'm going through as y'all go through. I've experienced loss this year. I've had people that was close to me. I've had family members pass away this year. I'm going through this with y'all. Our struggles may not be exactly the same, but man, we all going through this together. So this morning, we're going to choose to celebrate. Huh? This morning, this morning, we're going to choose to celebrate Sister Cassandra, Sister Connie, this morning, we going to choose to celebrate, man. Pastor Sabrina, this morning, we are choosing to celebrate the breath of life that is in our lungs, man. I'm tired. I'm tired of going through, I'm tired of living life like there ain't no, ain't no hope, ain't no future, everything all dark, everything all grim. I understand that. I understand our perspective sometimes it gets skewed based on the situations that the world has created around us. But I'm also here to tell you that this word right here, huh? Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 through 13, this word right here is going to speak to somebody this morning. So let's get into this word, man, and see what the word say. Let us pray. God, we thank you once again for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for allowing us to see another day as we come before you in this fashion, in the mighty name of your son, Christ Jesus. Our prayer is that you will bless us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the things that we read, and that your Holy Spirit will guide us through all truth and revelation. This is our prayer. In the matchless mighty name of your son, we pray it. Amen, amen, and amen. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 through 13. The Lord's prayer. Come on, man. Come on. Let's go back to the let's go back to the basic. For those who may not know and those who may not understand, those who weren't brought up in a traditional church, those who may not, you know, have the have may have have may have had the privilege of somebody ushering them in and bringing them in and walking alongside them. We're gonna do that right now today as a family, and we're gonna start with the Lord's prayer, man. Those who may not, I, I've really had young people tell me that. But Mr. Ford, but Deacon Ford, I don't know how to pray. I don't know how to pray. Well, this is the model prayer that Jesus told to the people when he came in. When he came to set the when he came to set the captives free. When he came to set the record straight. 
when he came to lift the burden off the uh, uh, off those that were oppressed, this is what he told them, man. It don't take all of that. What the religious people doing? How they up there praying for ten hours? How they out there on on, on the street corner with their bullhorn praying? I almost said playing. <laughs> I almost said playing. But what? But they out there praying in front. He said, "Man, it don't even take all of that." This is what Jesus said. Now I need you to get into the word for yourself. So y'all don't. It ain't Deacon Ford. This coming straight out the book. You can read this for yourself. It really starts at verse five. But we gonna read. We gonna we read that verse nine through thirteen this morning. But it really starts at verse five. And he said, mm -mm. "Verse nine. In this manner, therefore, pray." Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. May God add a blessing to the reading, the hearer, but most important, the ones that actually do his holy word. That's, he laid it out. He laid it all the way out. He came straight in. He showed his love. He showed his adoration. He showed his respect. He showed his respect for God by saying, our father. He called him our father, which art in heaven. He said, hollow, hollow be thy name, reverence. Huh? Above everything, I respect your name. I respect who you are, for you are the great I am. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Reached up and snatched it down. Huh? Reached up to heaven and snatched it down here on earth. Anybody, I'm talking about, man, you going through so bad. Are you desperate enough to reach up to heaven and snatch heaven down here on earth? He said, your will, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. May y'all ever read any of them stories uh, in, 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 in Revelation where it talk about heaven with the streets paved with gold and the pearls and all the jewels and all that stuff. He said, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Reached up and snatched it down and brought it down here to us. Do you want that? Or do you want yours when you die? Do you want your do you want yours when you die? No, I want mine right now. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Provide for us, God. First and foremost, you have provided for us the breath of life that's in our lungs. Provide for us everything that we need. Each and every single thing that we need, provide for us, oh God. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us for everything that we have done as we what? Forgive those who have trespassed. I'm telling you, that's a big thing. A lot of people can't get past that forgiveness. They get stuck on that. You can't let that bitterness seep. Man, listen, man. I done experienced some things at the hand of some people, man, but I refuse. <laughs> listen, you can tell them. Tell them what I said, man. I refuse to allow them to take space in my heart, man. I, I forgive you, bro. Hey, sis, I'm, I'm going to let that go. <laughs> I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Now, do I still set up? I set up my boundaries. So we're going to make sure that that don't happen again. But I'm not going to hold that in my heart. That take too much. That, 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 that take too much. That take too much energy. I can't walk around and hold that in my heart. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from the evil one. Protect us. Guide us. Keep us. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory. For his is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. We give it all to him forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. Listen, man, I love y'all. God bless you. Don't take my word for it. Get into the word for yourself. That's Matthew Chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. Y'all remember, 2020 is a what? It's a wrap. 2020 is a wrap. Reflection, accountability, 
and preparation. I love y'all. Faith over fear, God over everything. Together we have made love great again because love has never nor will it ever lose its power. It just lost its popularity. I love y'all, man. Way too much energy, bro. Way too much energy. I don't got time for that, man. Let me... I forgive you, bro. I understand. Like, what, what, y'all remember what Jesus said? Forgive them for they know not what they do, man. Forgive them for they don't, they don't know what they do, man. Forgive them. We, 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 ain't, we ain't on that, man. We not on that. Faith over fear. God over everything. I love y'all. We out of here, man. It's a wrap, y'all. Reflection. Accountability. Preparation. We working on us. I'm working on me. Take some time to work on you, man. Trying to get this thing together. I'm up out of here, man. I love y'all.